10 TV's Kevin Landers is live in the newsroom with more on the crash and why the Maryland bus company was operating without an inspection. Kevin? 10 TV has learned the state of Maryland was threatening to shut this bus company down because the company continued to ignore the state's letters regarding a performance audit. Police say the driver of this charter bus failed to maneuver the curve to the I-270 north on-ramp, forcing the bus to slide off the road and onto its side. We transported seven children and three adults. Police say 15 children and four adults spilled out of their seats as the bus tumbled to the ground. Police say none of the injuries was serious. One child was seen at the hospital with his arm in a sling. Hundreds of student robot teams. According to police, the children were returning home from this robotics competition in St. Louis, which ended yesterday. The bus, believed to be operating under the name PMC, or Platinum Magic Carpet Ride LLC, according to its Department of Transportation license, operates out of the state of Maryland. According to a spokesperson for the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, the bus company shows no history of being inspected by the state and therefore has no rating. The spokesperson tells 10TV the state of Maryland sent three letters to the company requesting a compliance audit, but the company never responded. The FMCSA threatened to revoke the company's license if it didn't respond within 10 days. The FMCA says the company was attempting to schedule an audit prior to the crash. Now inspectors for the FMCSA say it will send investigators this week to the company's Waldorf, Maryland address to investigate why this bus crashed and if the crash could have been avoided. Now, police cited the bus driver for failure to control. It's unclear whether speed or something else factored into this crash. Reporting live in the newsroom, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.